Hello again. So if we look here, we will notice it doesn't tell you exactly where to place um, the squares. They obviously are centered if you read, read the directions. So we look here, it does give you a little help. It tells you there's a 2.5 centimeter gap from the river line to this line on the outer square. And same thing from right here. What it doesn't tell you is what are the lines from here to here. So again, uh, it's just a little bit of a simple subtraction uh, to figure it out. But I will show you that I have now done my dots for the two and a half centimeters. And if you're not sure what 2.5 centimeters is, if you look here, it's one, two centimeters and then five little lines. Uh, so halfway between the two and the three. So that's 2.5 centimeters. At this point, hopefully you're still using a pencil, you're going to be drawing very light lines because you're going to want to erase uh, the extra lines later. But I'll keep mine on there so you can see. And you're going to draw those lines up and down, which I'm going to do now and pause. So now I have my lines going up and down to figure out the center right here. So if this land is 15 centimeters wide, we're going to deduct or subtract 5 centimeters from the width. So 15 minus 5 is 10, which means if we're having equal spacing of 10, all right, so you take 10 divided by 2 is 5, and that means your spacing from this line to this line will be 5 centimeters as well. There's a real easy way to take a ruler and measure. You'll just go down five, mark at the 10. And then same thing here, go down five, make a mark, make a mark at the 10 centimeter mark. And then you'll draw your lines over and that will give you your perfectly centered square. At that point, if you're using a pencil, take your eraser and erase the extra guidelines on the bottom and the top. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna do it for you. So you will see I now have uh, made my left square and you will literally repeat the same process over here, which I'm not going to show you because we already did it once and it's literally copying it. So uh, do that. And then, like I said, you're going to want to get rid of all these extra lines. Um, I mean, obviously, if you did it in a marker or something permanent, it's not going to hurt it. It won't affect a uh, grade or anything like that. Uh, it is just... Um, you know, a little unsightly, it makes it look cleaner, but I wanna show you guys exactly what you should be looking at and what you should be doing. So I'm gonna do the other side, I'm gonna pause, and I'm gonna show you the center. So I have now completed the right side and the left side, and you should erase all the extra lines that you don't need, if you can. And the next part I'm going to concentrate is the center square which tends to be the more difficult one for people, but hopefully we can explain it um, through, uh, I'm gonna do a separate video since we're running out of time. Uh, I found that keeping videos under five minutes is a lot easier to download and upload onto YouTube. So we're gonna do that next, and we're gonna do the center square. And we'll talk about that uh, in just a moment.